installed. I thought our guys uh, were, were urgent today and really yesterday too. And um, you know, just getting ready for the game. Questions? Because you talked about Brandon, Brandon would have a role. Mm -hmm. uh, could it be similar to what he did at, at Mississippi State, like the third tackle? That yeah, I mean, it, it it's possible. That? And I think, you know, as this second half, uh, you know, gets into it, it could even grow more than that. You know, he's had a good two weeks of practice and uh, has a really good understanding, I feel like, of what we're doing. Brett said he expected the offensive line to stay the same as it has been for the past couple of games. Is that, is that still what's the first unit out there? Yeah, that's, that's a possibility. But, you know, we have six guys that we feel like, um, you know, all, you know, have started before and uh, could fill in, um, you know, adequately. Who's been starting at right back? Uh, we rotate them, both of them. How is, uh, how's Patrick Miller looking? He's looking pretty yeah, good. Yeah, he's gotten better. Um, you know, we had him, of course, you know, he practiced even last week, like, like we talked about, and he has improved. And, you know, Avery's improved. Um, you know, we've just tried to make sure and be smart with, with all the guys who are a little bit banged up. But they've practiced. Uh, they've had no reoccurring things. And so, you know, we expect both of them to be good. Guys, you guys haven't had the eight-man crew yet. And part of your off-week evaluations over the course of the season has the analysts and staff been looking at what that crew has been doing and how that functions? No, we haven't. Um, you know, we, you're right, we haven't had it. But we, we did have it in the spring game. So, um, you know, having the eighth guy, you know, when we do have it, we don't think it'll be, uh, you know, a shock to us or anything. Yes, we've kind of talked about your relationship. been a coordinator and we've played him before but the first time as a head coach but you, you know really you, you don't you, you don't get into that I mean you get into that's a big game you, you try to do everything in your power no matter who the other coach is to try to give your guys the best chance of being successful so I don't ever let my mind go there you know some of Justin Garrett I mean back at linebacker what have you seen out of him in the last uh, couple of weeks yeah he's got some natural uh, things you know when he's in the box and and all that of course you know he's played that before so, uh, you know, Ellis is, is happy with his progress. Anything else? Yep. Right. Brandon King, what, what have you seen out of him? I know he's getting a look at defensive end. Do you feel like he, he could help you guys now? You, you know, I think so. You know, he's been in some packages up to this point. Uh, made a couple really good plays the last really two games. And so it's just one of those things. He's got a high motor. And, uh, you know, Ellis is just moving around trying to um, you know, utilize his skills. Yes, is there any reason, it seemed like last year, kind of as the year went on, Ricardo became like a bigger part of the running game, at least with the sweeps and things like that. And this year it doesn't seem like that's been quite as big of an emphasis. Is there any maybe specific reason for that at all? Is that something like change here in the second half? You know, I mean, he's, he's good at running the football, there's no doubt. But he has improved as a pass receiver, too. Anybody else? All right, Thank you. 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 Thank you.